Ladies and gentlemen, thank you and welcome. Today is Saturday, December 20th, 2014. <clears throat> we got a, a very special edition today to talk about. Um, not only properties per se, but I'd like to talk about what's going on in the economy. How we're doing, where we're going, and what happened recently. Okay, first off, the OCC, which stands for the Office of the Comptroller of the Currency, has released their evaluation as far as banks, larger institutions, smaller banks, credit unions, regarding where we stand. Why is this important? Well, if you recall what happened in 2007, 2008, with the uh, financial meltdown of the banks, needless to say, there have been some revamping from the federal government regarding what, what rules should be in place regarding the way that banks regulate themselves, maintain themselves, and more importantly, the day-to-day -day operations regarding cash flow, cash reserves, and exactly how they should operate. Needless to say, the Office of the Comptroller of the Currency, their job is to evaluate the progress made by these banks. How are they doing? Um, are they maintaining adequate reserves? Are they on the verge of another meltdown? Are they following the rules? Are they a good bank? Basically, that's the main thing. Are they a good bank? So... The Office of the Comptroller of the Currency released their evaluation for 23 national banks and federal savings associations. Out of those 23 national banks, there have been, actually the, the results were surprisingly good. Everybody got satisfactory. So that's not bad. Obviously, it's not great, but it's not bad. Everybody was marked satisfactory with the exception of one, which needs to improve. It was marked needs to improve, and that bank is... First National Bank of Texas in Killeen, Texas. Shame, shame, First National. Now I'd like to take a moment to congratulate the two on the list that were marked outstanding. Okay, number one, Trustmark National Bank in Jackson, Missouri. Congratulations, Jackson. Good job, Trustmark National Bank. If only all the banks were like you guys, we would have never been in this problem. Number two, Community First Bank National Association in Forest, Ohio. Congratulations. I actually would never have guessed that you guys would, uh, would do such a splendid job, banking-wise. Notwithstanding, congratulations are in order. So I tip my hat to you. Good job. And uh, to the rest of you guys, also good job. With only one needs to improve on the list, I'd say we're doing a good job overall as a country, economically and financially, we're in a much more viable place financially, and um, we're nowhere near uh, the problems and, and the meltdown that we had a couple of years ago. So I'd like to congratulate basically all the banks on the list, with the exception of, of course, First National Bank of Texas. You got some work to do. You got some work cut out. And uh, in the meantime, I will be keeping an eye on you, First National. So get your crap together. Thank you. Have a great day.